so here we are for the assembly of the of the trees and uh, the foam trunk. We have everything we need. I have the foam trunk. I have quite a lot of carpinus trees, uh, small ones, big ones. Maybe it will not be enough to cover the entire uh, surface of the foam trunk, but I'll uh, explain later uh, why this is not a big problem. Um, I have uh, scissors, I have uh, little uh, clamps, which are basically uh, paper clips that I cut in uh, two pieces and uh, from different sizes because I have different uh, thickness of uh, trunks here and uh, the little uh, wires that I made for other projects. So let's, uh, let's get started. My first idea when I was preparing the material for this this, this is not uh, really a fusion bonsai like um, like I did before or like you like we saw before. This is more um, of a uh, mechano bonsai, you see, because um, every part will be assembled separately and then put it together. And instead of just growing a trunk, we are going to do something a little more um, sophisticated. So I'll start with, with the, the, the rather big uh, trees. And I will have to find the best place for every tree. So, if we remember right, this was uh, the front. And if I take a tree like this one, I can very well put it here, like so. Oh, this is really good. Uh, I have three little roots here which will become bigger. Try to use this one as a um, trunk covering tree. And this might become a back branch in the future. So that's not bad. And if I place it a little more like this, I can use these two for a these two for this part and this one for this part. So I'm really going to construct a A complete tree with branches. That's why I call it from uh, now on a mechano bonsai. So a big paper clip for this one. Okay. This should stay free. It's already a branch. smaller one here what do we have this this will be good here This one could go there. Okay. So, I'm not going to bore you with uh, every um, tree I place on this uh, foam trunk. I'm just going to do one or two more trees and I'll be back uh, when this is done. So I added another tree. It's just a, a puzzle, you know. Um, and um, this 
tree already has a nice thick root here and now I'm going to uh, get the two trees that I already have I'm going to fix them with a piece of natural raffia and I insist on the fact that I'm going to use natural raffia because the whole purpose is that this raffia will rot away and that the trees will stay of course and the raffia will be gone in a, a few months like so and uh, well it's already becoming quite messy and I have only two trees uh, installed so you can imagine what this is gonna be um, these this one and this one could very well um, come on this foam branch so let's tie them together with another piece of raffia Another reason why I want to use a natural raffia is because I think it is possible now to add another uh, tree which is on this raffia and um, it will not be a problem, problem when it grows, it will just disappear in time and rot away so there will be no need to um, To get uh, to get rid of that, and then uh, with the tweezers trying to get it uh, get it out and so on. So okay, <coughs> just gonna fix this piece of raffia with a little clamp now, so that it won't move. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's go on with it. So just a uh, little shot from uh, the point where we are now. I'm adding a, a tree. I grab some raffia. And I tie it firmly to the foam trunk and uh, of course the other trees and every time I do that I apply some more uh, tension on the other trees um, I, I think that um, fusion is all about tension I saw on different other uh, YouTube movie movies and uh, I read on uh, the internet I'll post some excellent addresses because uh, I really did not invent the concept of um, a fusion bonsai. There were uh, other guys that did it long before me. Uh, I post some uh, some links to their websites, uh, but most of the time I see that they are uh, just letting the top of the tree grow without cutting it back because then the 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 trunks will uh, will thicken. And I don't think this is true. You should let the tree grow, but you should cut back the top sometime because uh, then you will have buds on the uh, lower parts and the buds on the lower parts, when they grow, they will thicken the lower parts of the trunk and there you will have your fusion. So I do not agree on, the, on, on their technique most of the time. I think it is better to, to really... Um, let the tree grow from the, 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 the bottom part and in the meantime you can always uh, in the growing season of course uh, start air layering the, the top parts of your tree and then include them the year after 
when you do a repot or, or something, you can include them in the, in the lower fusion. A lot of people use uh, these uh, iron with paper around uh, pieces of material to tie these down and they end up with lots of uh, little scars, which is not desirable, I think. So that's why I'm using uh, raffia, which is uh, much slower and, uh, well, let's be honest, um, sometimes really annoying, but this raffia will rot and cause no uh, scarring and if you really want to do some uh, tie down well you can do that with a uh, synthetic raffia to put pressure on uh, the complete uh, construction and the raffia under it will rot so that's where we are now I don't uh, see if you see it on the camera yeah so um, this is uh, the front and I'm still working my way up with every little uh, trunk that I uh, have. Of course I will end up with uh, quite a lot of holes. Uh, I think in this stage this is something you cannot... Uh, it's almost impossible to fill the whole tree I think in, in one, one shot. Or you must have uh, millions of trees to choose from, well, hundreds maybe. So that's why I'm planning to let the tree grow this year and uh, all what is too much will be air layered. It's really easy to air layer carpinus trees, especially when they are uh, small like this one. So I'm um, just going on. The main trunk is uh, already covered and uh, I have all the, the, the branches I need here to continue to, to start the fusion. Uh, they're nicely one against each other with of course a lot of gaps. Uh, I will have more uh, young plants when I do all the little air layerings you see there are tons of possibilities to do air layerings and then I will have really small and really flexible uh, trees to include in the fusion and in uh, in a year or so this will be much easier because these will already be in position and stay there where uh, they want uh, where I need where I want them to stay yeah um, so this was a part uh, one uh, of the trunk. Uh, this is supposed to become a, a side branch, which is uh, something that I will wire. And um, at the junction of the two uh, parts, I have two uh, trees here, which should uh, uh, cover uh, this uh, part of the main trunk. And this is the little uh, trunk. Uh, I really like a lot of trees here, it's not a problem because this will really have to be just closed with little seedlings and will be quite fast. Uh, quite a few interesting roots that are sticking out, so that's nice too. So what I'm going to do now, uh, oh yeah, and here is a centerpiece for the junction part. So what I need to do now is to get these two pieces together like so <coughs> and then just get them in a pot and we will have a uh, well start of a new type of uh, bonsai um, mechano project like a kid's toy so i'm going to try to put that in a pot now before i put um, the whole construction in a pot. I'm going to try to get them uh, together as much as possible by just uh, putting a wire here and here and so get these two uh, pieces together. I'm going to do that on both sides. So this is one. And this is 
two. Okay. going to get too much tension on it and do that when the other side is done too Okay, now some more here. Yep, and maybe use a big piece of raffia to get it together and then into the pot. So I fill the pot with uh, this uh, baked uh, clay. Um, which is extremely good material and not too expensive uh, for a bag of 40 liters it's quite a, a lot I paid 10 euros which is not a lot of money and for the rest I'm going to uh, use a soil mix of uh, sand and uh, turfus always with a little projects on it so I'm going to, to mount this now that's why I need the sand in it I really need to make a little mountain here So that I have a better filling up of this hole between the the trunks and the yeah that's good. I'm going to fill it up now and uh, then of course make sure that I don't have huge air pockets under the under the trunk by just putting it in position with my fingers. The reason why I took a quite a large uh, pot, a wide pot I mean, is because um, I really want to do some uh, extra work on this tree uh, during the growing season. And if I take a deep pot like this one here, uh, and the tree is buried uh, be, uh, below the lip of the pot, it is uh, very difficult to access it, and I will lose a whole growing season of work. So this um, is part two of the project. Um, the foam tree is covered for 30-40% with, uh, with young uh, carpines uh, trees, uh, big gaps, but since it is now potted up uh, in, um, and uh, accessible to, uh, from all places, if I find a little uh, papine tree I can always uh, already include it in the in the fusion and I can do this uh, all year so um, up to part three now